right, in this video, I'm going to show you the different zooming tools in Pro Tools LE. Let's start with the zoom tool. You can select it up here by clicking on it, or you can press F5. Now, if you click and hold on that tool, you'll notice two options come up, normal zoom and single zoom. Let's pick normal zoom. With normal zoom, every time you zoom, your tool will stay on the zoom tool. So it doesn't matter how many times I zoom. If you go to single zoom, as soon as you make one zoom, your tool will revert back to whatever tool you had selected last, which in this case, I think was the selector tool. Let's watch. So I'm going to zoom in here. And then, yep, my tool immediately went back to selector tool. I find that I use single zoom a lot more often than I use normal zoom. Now, another way to zoom in and out is by using the R and T keys, assuming keyboard focus is on. So if I hit R, it's going to zoom out. And if I hit T, it's going to zoom back in. These are also a very, very common way of zooming in and out. Now, if you want to zoom in on individual tracks vertically, you can do that as well. Probably the easiest way to do it is to click in this area of the track. Now, I'm going to take my electric guitar track here. Now, on audio tracks, you can left click in this area. But on other types of tracks, such as MIDI tracks, you have to right click. So it's probably better just to get into the habit of always right clicking, because right clicking works for audio tracks too. So I'm going to right click here and choose Jumbo. And just that track gets bigger. Now, like most functions in Pro Tools, the modifier keys will also affect these vertical zoom toggles. So if I selected all three of my electric guitar tracks with the shift key, and then if I held shift option and choose a zoom level, let's say large, just those three tracks are now large. Or if I just hold option, which will affect all my tracks and I choose a zoom level, all of my tracks will go to that level. There's one more type of zoom I'm going to talk about here, and that is the waveform zoom. I'm going to open up a track here that was recorded very quietly and zoom in on a section. Now those are really small, and if I had to do some careful editing on it, it would be really, really hard. So if you go up to here, this is the waveform zoom, and by clicking on this, you can see the waveform is getting bigger. And just the same, if you click the down, it's going to get smaller. I find it's really useful, especially with things like drums, uh, when you have to zoom in on the quiet hits. To return to normal zoom on the waveform scale, probably the easiest way, but it is kind of a tricky key command, is to hit Control, Option, Command, and Left Bracket, which is next to the P key. And it'll go back. It's kind of an awkward key command, but it's one that you can just memorize and remember. And those are some of the basic zoom functions in Pro Tools LE. Mm -hmm.